Hello guys and welcome to the first episode of my brand new PvP series. I'm going to be playing this series on a server called mc.mindfrenzy.com. Now this is an epic new factions PvP raiding server made by me and some other YouTubers who are going to be doing a series on it. And all you have to do is copy paste this IP into your server address and you'll be good to join. So let's go ahead and join the server by smashing this button down, logging in, here we go, here's the spawn point right here, and this episode, I think I'm going to go over the basics, for those of you who haven't played on a factions server before, you'll probably want to know the basics, so I think I should go over that, and tell you guys what exactly you can expect from this server. So this is the spawn point. And look at it, it's a wonderful spawn point. Look at the contrast between this green and this blue. I love it, I mean, look at the texture. The quality is outstanding. No, I'm just kidding, guys, let's go. That's, we should probably start reading these signs. Um, what have we got here? Mindfrenzy.com, that's the official website where you'll want to go for all the server details and voting and donating and rules, stuff like that. Over here, we got some warps. So these are to quickly get yourself around the place a bit quicker. You can type slash warp shops in chat to TP to the shops. Pretty simple. Over here some more commands. Slash spawn will take you back to that spawn point. That's kind of obvious, but it's pretty useful. Very useful for those of you who haven't played on a faction server before. And slash home and slash set home. If I was to stand over here and type slash set home, then I was to walk over to this block and type slash home, it'll take me to the place where I set home. That is extremely useful for moving your way around to certain certain areas of the map that there isn't any warp points to, so make sure to remember that. And some more donated commands slash TPA if you want to TP to someone else, you type that and then their name. And there's all the factions commands. So factions is the plugin we use for protecting your land on this server. I'll Google it if I was you to get the full list of commands, but right here you can type slash f help in chat and it will tell you all the basic commands and slash f help 2 to bring up page 2, slash f help 3 for page 3, etc. And slash f create space your faction name, then slash f claim over the land that you want. You've got to run to the land you want, guys. But let's go over here first. What do we got? Website information. Yep, we know to check out the website. I'd highly suggest to do that. The voting websites. Yep, you go, to the, you go to the website mindfrenzy.com, click the vote tab, and you will be able to start voting for in-game money. That's an extremely good way to get some, some easy money when you first join the server, is to just go to the website and vote a couple times. And donation information. Of course, you, you also donate on the website, but you can type slash warp donate to see what you actually get. We'll go check out that in a second. Let's just quickly go over the rules. The Mind Frenzy official rules. Just... They're basic stuff, guys. Just, it's a good community. Just be nice to each other. Don't spam up the chat. Don't hack. Respect, peop respect people. Try not to cause lag and you'll be fine. And if you do see anyone breaking these rules, just head over to the forums, post some proof, and report them. And they'll get the ban hammer smacked in their little faces. We don't like hackers around here, so we're going to own them with a ban hammer. So please report them to the forums. Alright, let's continue on through this wonderfully built spawn. You might notice I'm also invisible, but that's because I just wanted to go over this, and if people saw me on the server, they would be standing around me and blocking all the signs, so I wouldn't be able to read them. <laughs> so let's, let's go ahead and go into the donate room, because there's some really important commands I need to teach you guys, because you might see someone else doing it, and you might wonder how they're doing it. So I've got to go over the commands really quick, and of course they're in this room, the donate room. Donating, there is a bunch of ranks, they start from cheapest to most expensive, cheapest, and they go around the room like that. And basically everything increases as you go along. So the price increases, the amount of money you get increases, the stuff you get increases, etc. Alright, so first rank, donator, you get the prefix donator in chat so everyone knows you're fancy. And you get these three commands, or you actually get three, yeah, these three. You get to start an auction, you get to access the workbench whenever you, wherever you are, 
you get the TPA here command, so you can request so someone to TP to you, and you can set three homes instead of one. And of course, you get some in-game money, $10,000, and you get this kit every 48 hours. So if you buy this rank for 10 bucks, it's like a price of going to McDonald's, and then when you log on to the server, you'll be given the rank within 24 hours, usually way quicker than that, but we say 24 hours, just in case. And you type slash kit space donator, and you'll get full diamond armor, a diamond sword, plus 10 steak. Which is an extremely good way to start off. I'd suggest just donating 10 bucks if you want to head start on the server and you think you're going to enjoy it. I'm going to run over here and show you the rest of them, just to quickly go over it. The price, of course, goes up. The amount of money you get in-game goes up. You get better armor from your kit, so you get protection 1. And you also get five homes, so the home goes up as well, and the commands you get are better. So you get slash feed, which is epic. I love this command more than anything. It saves you from having to carry around food all the time. You just go ahead and type slash feed, your hunger is full, you don't need food. As simple as that, guys. Pick up spawners with silk touch. That's if you want to make big mob, mob farms. You pick up the spawners, chuck them all in a dark room, Feed them all into one space, start killing them to get some easy XP to get some good enchants. Continue on, more money, better gear, more homes, and of course, if you do buy the knight for $40, you get all the commands that the, the ranks before it have. So you still get all the spawn, the oh, blah 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 blah, talk properly hates. You still get the pick up spawners and the feed and the donate and auction and stuff like that. You still get all those commands if you buy the one above it. And if you do buy this, just I'll give, I need to give you guys an example. Because this bit's a tiny bit confusing. This sign here. If you buy a rank, higher ranks will be discounted for that amount. So, if you were to buy Warrior for $25, that $25 would get discounted from Knight. So you wouldn't have to pay $40 for Knight. You would only have to pay $15, because 40 minus 25 is 5, 30, 15, yep, $15. So if you were to buy Warrior, then at a later stage you could pay $15 more to upgrade to Knight. So I think that's a really good, oh, look at that command, I forgot, did I mention that? Ender Chest. That is probably my favourite after slash feed. Slash Ender Chest is epic if you're doing a bit of massive PvP battle. You're owning kids left, right and centre. Bam! Headshot! Oh, you're dead! Kill this guy! You picked up all their loot, and now it's your inventory's full. You'll be like, what am I going to do? I'm screwed. But don't worry. You just type Slash Ender Chest, chuck it all into your Ender Chest, and you're good to go. You can keep on PvPing. That is, that is my favourite command for actually PvP scenarios. And, of course, upgraded... We'll keep going around, slash repair, that's extremely good, repairs enchanted items. If you do start getting some P4 that gets damaged, instead of breaking it, you can just repair it. More money, more homes, more money, more homes, better gear, better commands. Simple as that guys, that keeps going around the room. Let's continue on though, because I do want to explain this a bit. This is the community share room, and for this episode I'm actually on my OP account. That's why I'm invisible and in creative. But when I actually play the series, I'm going to be on Hades Productions. The one I'm on now is called Hades MC in chat. See up there, top left, Hades MC. This is my admin account. So if I'm on this account, feel free to ask me for help or support with donations or website problems or anything. Learning some commands, I'm willing to help you on this account. But when I'm on my other account, I will not have access to any of the OP commands. I'll be exactly the same as you guys who are joining the server. I'll have no advantages, except maybe I'll give myself a free rank here. <laughs> Besides that, no advantages. And I'm going to be using this community share room for my base for a while. Next episode, I'm going to create my faction and, clan and claim my, some land. But I probably won't fill it up with too much. I'll just come back here to use the anvils the crafting tables, the enchanting tables, the ender chests, and that'll save me a lot of money if I just use the community ones here instead of putting it actually in my base. And yeah, so now that I've shown that off, I should probably show the most important part of spawn off. The shops, guys. This is what makes servers legendary compared to normal vanilla servers. Have a look at this. You can buy nearly everything in here. 
It makes it so much easier to get your stuff. If you want to buy a TNT, just buy it right there. Obsidian, farmable items. It's really easy. So if I come over here, I'm going to show off an example here. Right, right there it says buy one gold sword for 120. There's a picture of a gold sword just in case you don't know what that stands for. Seeing as this one is the item code for iron sword, you might not know what it stands for, but that's why there's a picture there. So if I right click on this, it will buy the gold sword. And it took $120 out of my account. That's in-game money, guys, of course. <laughs> so I buy it, and it gave me one gold sword for 120 And down here to sell it, I just have to right-click the sign, and it will sell one gold sword for 25 Bam! See that? $25 has been added to my account. It's as simple as that, guys. That's how you buy and sell stuff. And I should probably go over how to make money. This is what I would highly recommend, guys. If you're new to the server... Maybe go onto the website, vote a couple times. Maybe chuck a donation if you have some spare cash, because that'll really help us out. But if you don't have a, the money to donate, and you don't want to go and vote, it's fine. You can play the game 100% from scratch. Run out there, go claim some land, build yourself a farm. And you see here, I can sell 32 wheat for $125. So if I make a massive automatic wheat farm... I can just keep selling it to the shop and making some good money, good money from it. And things like sugarcane, cocoa beans, mushrooms, they sell for a good price. Look at that. Eight mushrooms for 85. If you make a massive mushroom farm, you'll be set for life. Look at these cactuses. You can sell tons of stuff here. And that's how you want to make your main source of income, guys, off these farms. Now that I've said that, I do want to go explain what you want to do next. And I'm going to explain what I'm going to be doing next episode. So, next episode, I'll be on my other account, which doesn't have any special privileges, so I'll be on the same playing field as you guys. And basically how it works is, no one can build or PvP in spawn, but as soon as you drop down there, you can PvP, and when you go 300 or 200 blocks out, you can then build. So we don't want people building here, because this is where everyone's going to be PvPing. So that's, it's understandable, hopefully you guys understand that. You've got to go a couple hundred blocks out before you can build, and that's where you want to claim your land, invite your friends, make a faction, and that's where you want to set up all your chests and your main base. And then you want to run down here, or teleport back to spawn for when you want to PvP. See, look, there's some cheap iron swords here, and there's a cheap bow and arrow, which I like to put out the front here just so you're ready to rumble. You can just run out here quickly, buy the signs, jump out and PvP. Alright, so I've pretty much covered all the basics of the server now, so you should all know how to connect and play. So you have no excuse not to join me on my PvP Adventures series, which will be really good, guys. So you got to make sure to subscribe for that, because I'll be uploading videos regularly to my channel on this server, and you got to make sure you don't miss out, because I'll be doing community events, I'll be doing raiding, PvP, all that type of stuff. So it'll be pretty epic, guys. And don't forget, next episode, I'll be running out there making my faction and building my base. And I have a lot of tips to tell you guys. A lot of PvP tips. A lot of building tips. So, it'll be really useful for you guys to watch the videos. And if anyone asks me, how do you do that, AIDS? I'm just going to link them to the videos. Because I'm going to be doing everything to the max in this series. I'm going to be trying to own as many people as possible. So, it's going to be a pretty good series, guys. And I would just like to give a shout out to the server host before I end this episode and continue on to the next episode, which is HadeSolutions.com. It is a company I own and I actually host this server myself. So you can go to the website by typing www.HadeSolutions.com into your web browser and that'll take you to the website. And we sell servers from $3. You can buy a Minecraft server for $3, guys. It's as cheap as that, and it goes up to about $60. Or you can buy your own dedicated machine, like what I'm running this server on. This is a full dedicated machine, so there's no lag, and it's got 64 gig RAM. We basically offer anything you guys want. If you don't know how to configure plugins, we do that for you. We sell everything on that site. So, the website is HadeSolutions.com. I'll probably put it, a link in the description as well for those of you who do want to make your own server. Make sure to check that out. And of course, those of you who want to start this PvP series with me and get involved, please subscribe. 
like the videos to show your support, and I'll see you guys on the server. Peace! Thank <laughs> you.